What up, y'all? DC Fago guy. Just got a package today, and while this is not an unboxing video, one of the things that I ordered actually stems from a couple weeks ago when it was first posted on Fago Lovers that it was available on psychopathicmerch.com that kind of warranted this video. Um, I had to wait a few weeks for me to get my package. It actually took a while for them to ship it. Anyway, what I, one of the things that I had ordered was the uh, Fearless Fred Fury t-shirt that they have on there. Uh, I'm not a huge, huge, huge fan of this design. I wanted the one where it has the full image, just because all the other shirts that I have have the full image of the Joker cards. Um, but I'm not a big fan of the purple and the red. It just doesn't mesh very well. But uh, one of the, the reason I'm making this video I'm, I'm totally like rambling off topic right off the bat. <laughs> the reason for this video is that uh, there was actually a very extensive conversation, discussion, debate, argument, whatever you want to to label it as, in the comment section of a Fagel Lover's post where it first mentioned the Fearless Fred Fury merchandise was available on psychopathicmerch.com. And basically, at, at some point, there was, uh, there was words being thrown out of... Uh, repping a shirt like this before an album even comes out whether you know where the album's dope or not is just basically a fashion statement and there was one comment on there that I completely 100% agree with and thus here's the video my two cents motherfucker so the comment was that uh I'm just going to show it. I went and found it to, to get a picture, but I'm not going to like quote it word for word. Uh, there you guys go. That was what was said. But I, I fully agree. It's not a fashion statement. It's simply that I believe enough in the Dark Carnival mythology to know that this is going to be a dope album. In my perspective, I'm one of the people that didn't hate The Marvelous Missing Link lost or found i didn't hate the mighty death pop i didn't hate big pow uh, <laughs> big pow bang pow boom you know i didn't hate any of the joker cards from the second set that have come out so my faith my belief that this album is going to be dope is already there there was also another comment that basically show uh, basically said to show your hype for an album and i'm also right there um agreeing with that as well that that's the other reason why i went ahead and picked this shirt up was to fucking show my hype for the new Joker card coming out. So, uh, thank you, Tech. That was a uh, beautiful timing. Um, yeah, I, I, that's basically the, the extent of what I wanted to say. I believe in the Dark Carnival mythology, and if you want to rep fucking t-shirts of an album that hasn't even come out, whether you know if it sucks or not, I mean, if, if you were disappointed by The Marvelous Missing Link, either one of them, if you were disappointed by the Mighty Death Pop, if you were disappointed by Bang Pow Boom, it's up to you. It's your prerogative whether you want to buy something. Ultimately, that's what it comes down to, is it something you want to buy. Nobody's twisting your arm saying, buy this. It's just available for those who want to. And if you have hesitations for this new album, it's up to you whether you want to buy it or not. But for me, I can already pretty much tell you the chances of it being something I don't like is pretty slim to none because again the albums that people are always complaining about I like them I have no issues with them I have some issues with them but I like them so fuck it dude I'm repping Fearless Fred Fury and the album hasn't even come out a little bit a uh, little bit not happy with the design I had to get just because this was the only one in black but I'm fucking repping it. I believe it's going to be a dope album. Anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.